All right guys, today's video here is on my Kindle Fire and I think my last video I showed you guys how to install AOSP which is what I'm running right here which is based on Android version 4.2.2 so this is the Android open source project but now I'm going to show you guys how to um, back this up install CM10.1 which is also based on Android 4.2.2 so let's go ahead and just get into this so first thing you want to do is just power the device off so let's flip it to the side here and I'm gonna hold the power button down and power off so go ahead and shut down let this thing uh, turn off and we're going to want to make sure you already have installed fire 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 and torp recovery both those I have videos on if you don't know how to do that or haven't done that already. Uh, you should probably have that on there if you've already installed a custom ROM before. So not a huge deal. Um, Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to hold down power button until the device powers up. Let go of it, hold it again, and watch these things on the side cycle over here until we see recovery highlighted. Right now recovery is highlighted. And it's going to boot into recovery. So here is Team Win Recovery Project or TWRP. Um, there you go. So a couple things you're going to want to do is make sure that you have good battery level before you start doing this process. Next two things is you're going to want to make sure you have the ROM already installed on the SD card and know where it's at on the SD card. And two, you want to have the Google Applications or GGAP 4.2.2. Uh, they are from, I don't know, I'll show you when I get on here. So first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and make a backup. So you hit the backup button and you swipe this across. You can set your name of your backup, different things like that. Uh, I've already made a backup. I'll show you right here. It's in my restore folder. So AOSP3513 and I have stock, which is actually Kindle Fire. Um, those are my two backups in there. I already have that done. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next, next process. So we're going to go to wipes and we're going to wipe cache and we're going to swipe across and wipe that. Shouldn't take too long here. It's pretty quick uh, to wipe. So go back, wipe Delvic, go ahead and wipe it. Go back, factory reset, wipe that. And go back and then system and wipe that. So that now just gave your uh, Kindle Fire a total clean slate to deal with. So we're going to go back and then hit back again up here with the arrow. Go to installs. And my stuff is actually in, uh, let's see here, we got to go up a level. And it should be under, if I can find it here. No, those are backwards. So we're going to go to Goo Manager and this is where I've downloaded them. So right here you have CM10.1 and it is from 2013 March 1st and that's your information. There's a GGAP thread above it which is also from 2013 March 1st. So we're just going to hit the CM7, CM10 and then we're going to go ahead and make sure it's highlighted or lit, it's what's listed right here and it is so we're going to go ahead and flash it. Uh, this process right here flashing may take up to 10 minutes, probably more like 5. So we're going to pause here and come back and go to the next step. Alright, the install has completed. Uh, very, very simple. Actually, it only took about 2 minutes to install the ROM. So we're just going to hit back on the top. And we're going to go to GGAPs. Again, make sure they are listed right up above there. And swipe to flash these. This should probably take eh, about the same time, maybe a little less. You can see the progress bar on the bottom already building to about a third of the way across. So once this is done flashing, we're just going to go ahead and reboot the device. There will be a button down here on the bottom. Oh, look, it's almost already done right now, so I'm just going to let it go. And we'll reboot right here, reboot system. Um, you shouldn't have to go into the bootloader mode and fire, fire, fire and tell it to boot normally. It should automatically do that with Torp Recovery. You shouldn't have to do any setting changes there. Um, so we're just going to let this thing reboot. We're going to see if we what we got for a boot animation and go from there. Let me rotate this for us so we can get a better view of it. So we actually have an off-center. Let's see if we can change it like this actually. Will it change? No. An off-center CyanogenMod boot logo, which is 
Uh, I mean, whatever. I'd like to see it in center to be like actually correct, but it really doesn't matter. It's just a boot animation. Let's just make sure the round's working right. Let's let this boot up. Give this thing at least a good 10 minutes to boot up um, before you think anything went wrong. Oh, there. Now it's centered. Now that's just kind of goofy. Maybe it was because I was rotating or something. Not sure. But there we go. There's your Saijin Mod 10 boot animation. Let's set this thing boot up and we'll go from there. Well, boot up on this was actually quite quick. Uh, probably about two minutes also. Uh, not too bad. Like I say, I always give 10 just to be sure, but some ROMs take that long to boot up. So let's go ahead and hit start and we'll go through the startup process, which is selecting Wi Fi. Let me put in my password here. So there we go. We should be connecting, uh, obtaining. I, there you go. Internet's connected, Wi Fi is on. See your status bar up here on the top for the Wi Fi. And it's probably going to go ahead and ask me to sign into my Gmail and all those other goodies. I'm just going to skip through these Google account, skip it, skip it, just so I can show you guys the ROM and what comes with it. And we're going to skip that also. Agree to Google services and finish setup. So we have our time showing up on here now. Let's see what else we got. Um, so pretty pretty basic here you have some quick toggles here there's some toggles there some gallery and settings I don't think there's anything else on your home screen you don't even have any icons right down here which is a little unusual normally the developer at least throws a couple in there not a huge deal I mean we can move some down there just so you can see so it's not a huge deal let's go ahead and see what we have for a pull down here so you have your standard pull down your standard stuff in there, volume settings, battery, that kind of goodies. Um, and you have your notification pull down on the other side. So let's go ahead and go into apps and see what we have installed with this. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Pretty basic. Um, basically all I'm seeing here is you got Apollo browser. Yeah, You do have your Sajimod file browser which is a root file browser and you can get root permission in it and go through all your files so that's nice uh, let's see what else we got here um, notepad version 3 don't know what that is let's kinda see no notes yet hmm. settings add a note so it's just for adding a note I guess pretty pretty plain and simple um, let's see what else this thing comes with touch that to get rid of that you do have terminal emulator super user right here uh, and that's pretty much it. your Google, uh, Play Store. Not too many uh, f f programs in here, really. It's just kind of surprising. Let's see. Let's go ahead and check out what else we have here. Standard stuff. Yeah, standard uh, widgets. Nothing too terribly exciting there. The thing I probably really want to check here, though, under CM CM10 is nice, is they have these other fancy settings in the settings app in the settings here. So. First thing we see, we got here, we have launcher, and this is your launcher, it's Trebuchet Launcher, and you have all of its settings right through here, which there's some good stuff in there, Trebuchet's got some nice stuff. Um, let's go ahead and look at, you have lock screen, so you have some security stuff you can do, camera widgets, a bunch of different slide shortcuts, that kind of good stuff in there. You have themes, um, which you can download from Google Play and do a lot of different theming which is really neat very easy to use and change your themes on the stuff we have system so system is where you get to all your cool stuff on CM10 this is where you can change gestures navigation buttons notif notification drawer stuff power menu options um, like here you can change let's see if I can show you you can do screenshots and make it on so it's on your power notification thing it's just a just a whole bunch of goodies on here sound panel and things like that a whole bunch of good, uh, awesome little tweaks you can do in here. So this is one of my favorite things about CM10 is all of the interface tweaks and all the stuff you can do right here under system settings. Uh, then we have an advanced settings right here. Touch filter levels, Kindle Fire settings. Haven't actually messed with this myself. I'm going to be looking at this. This looks kind of interesting. I'll be checking this out. Um, let's see what else we have in here. And then the last thing I guess I want to show you guys is developer settings. Normally, uh, developer settings would be listed right here about above, right above about tablet. So let's go in here, but just so you can see, again, this is Android 4.2.2. But to get 
developer settings, you're going to want to tap on the build number and you just keep tapping on it like seven times. Now it says you have now enabled developer settings. So if we go back, now you can see, now actually you've enabled two settings. You've enabled performance and developer on this ROM. So that's very interesting. So developer settings are here and if you do anything with your device, you're probably going to want to turn on USB debugging. So make sure that is turned on. And then performance settings. Let's see what we have in here. So here you go. This is your governor speeds and overclocking kind of stuff. Governor CPU frequencies. Um, your I/O schedulers and all these kind of little improvements that you can do. You can disable boot animation so it might boot your device a little faster. Things like that. So there you go, guys. Those are all your pretty much most of your settings here on CM10. And that is it. You can download anything you want, do your standard tweaks, download different launchers, you want whatever you want to do. Let's do see really quick if we have wallpaper. Let's see what we got for wallpapers. We do have signage amount wallpapers. And yeah, I actually like this wallpaper. I think it's pretty nice. There you go. Now we're talking. So there you go, guys. That is it. Um, that's how to install CM10 on the Kindle Fire. I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial. As always, links to the files you're going to need it and GGAPs and the ROM, everything is going to be in my video description down below. Um, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Check out my webpage right above. A lot of good Kindle Fire information on it. And you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter if you want. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.